ACM is the American Center for Mobility. We are a startup company out here at Willeron Airport uh, looking to build the, 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 a world-class uh, test facility for connected and automated vehicles and the future tr of transportation. Henry Ford built that facility and he built it to make the bomber, it's a bomber plant. For 20 years, we had prosperity and growth and um, good jobs, our school systems, everything was really, really well. And um, the economy turned. They announced that they were closing. It was frightening, it was sad to see people losing their jobs. Um, it was sad to see that plant be demolished. And we, we chose to fight to redevelop that site. Ann Arbor Spark uh, had brought a group of people together, be in the township, as well as a private um, developer, and pitched the idea of an autonomous center for vehicles. They help us with economic development and provide leads for us. In this instance, they really took the lead on the American Center for Mobility. This was a site that uh, many people had tried to work on for several years, had a great idea. Uh, but there was just a lack of, of financial leverage to get it over the hump, and it's uh, uh, a core uh, mission of ours to get this done, so we stepped in and, and uh, provided funding. It really made it almost an afterthought for us at the state that, yeah, why aren't we doing this? You know, it's right in our wheelhouse. You know, I think one of the things that we talked about early on is, what if we created a hub of this new mobility industry, leveraging the Willow Run site, and what could that do from an economic development standpoint for this whole region? More recently, uh, the University of Michigan uh, started on a, a place called M City. The concept was the same, but on a much smaller scale. So M City was built on a 32-acre land. Even though we try to create all types of traffic conditions, but the scenarios where we can create is limited. So we need something that is bigger, and then you can also create the highways and the bridges that you will see uh, in real traffic. The University of Michigan was formally uh, invited to partner with Ann Arbor Spark, MEDC, and so on to start this American Center for Mobility. So ACM will provide a complementary set of facility and infrastructure where this type of testing can happen. For us, I think we saw it as being one of the kind of core assets that Michigan has to leverage to really drive future economic growth. There's no asset we have that's greater than the automotive industry, but it's going through a major transformation right now. And there is competition. There are other places around the world that want to get that future as much as we do. We have to make sure that it happens right here at home. But an ACM gives us the opportunity to really leapfrog into the future, which is great for our economy with the other foundational partners, the University of Michigan, the State of Michigan, the Economic Development Corporation, MDOT, the uh, Department of Transportation, and of course, Spark and business leaders from Michigan. That group made the project solid and doable. We are very excited to be one of the first 10 named proving grounds by the U.S. Department of Transportation. This is the future of our automotive industry. Everything that goes into our automotive industry is going to be tied to this. It's a confluence of IT, of engineering, of uh, you know, good old-fashioned uh, you know, mechanical engineering, all of these cars of the future. And we do that better than anywhere else in the world. When you think about auto in Michigan, you think drive trains and axles, those are still going to be important. But all these other elements are going to be what create this car. What's the thing that young people are most enamored by? This, right here. Mm -hmm. And if you want to work on this, you want to work in the mobility industry because this is your platform for the future. We're a blue collar community and we're proud of it. But now we can get our grandkids and our kids to excite, be excited about working in a facility or creating a technology and being creative and innovative in a way that we'd never experienced before. So. It's about the future, that's what it's about.